Since SketchUp is a surface modeler, you cannot perform a true Boolean operations in SketchUp, such as, for example, use of subtraction, union, or intersection of solids. But of course, there's always a way to perform a similar Boolean operation by using the intersect tool of SketchUp by right-clicking on your model and then intersect faces. But since there are no objects that we want to intersect, let's create first an object. So, so for example, we have a chamfered rectangle. So just create the rectangle and then offset that. And then try to offset the inner rectangle. However, it doesn't create a chamfer. So before you move that, hold down the Alt key. Okay, so escape. So before clicking the inner rectangle, hold down the Alt key. Then click. Then drag. And then let's infer it to the midpoint of the block. And then click. So let's try to move the object towards our model. So let's select it. Then choose the move tool or M in our keyboards. And select an endpoint. And then let's drag it along the green axis. And maybe up here. And then let's try to select all the geometry we have created. And then right click. Then let's go to intersect faces. So there are choices with model with selection so either way we selected all so we could just use model and we could now just erase the unwanted geometry so let's change the view there so we erase the unwanted faces so select select Lastly, with the move tool, we could select all the object and then M again to select the move tool. And then let's select this uh, origin. Then hold down the control key on your keyboards and then drag it towards the X axis. And then let's type, let's say, 7000. Enter to create copies of your objects. You could also perform multiple instances of this. So for example, having this selected, let's again initiate the uh, move tool. Then select on this endpoint and then control again. Then move along the green axis. Let's say let's type 1500 this time. Enter. And then type, let's say 6x. And then enter. It created six instances. Oh no, six copies. I'm sorry. These are copies. One, two, three, four, five, six copies of the object. Now, let's try to select the left object. And then right click. Let's make it as a component. Let's uh, rename it as model one. And then just leave everything else as is. Create. So we have created a component. If you go to the default tray, click on components, expand that. We have here our created component. You still have Laura there. You could uh, click, drag, click her. Okay, but we don't want that. You could also do that for our model. Click, drag, click. Okay. However, what I want you to see is, let's look at this. Okay. So having this selected, let's again create a copy. So move, then select your desired uh, starting point. So let's start with this again. Then control, then make sure that you are constrained along the axis. So this time in the direction 
of the red axis. Then let's type the distance. Let's say 6,500. Enter. And then type again, let's say 5x. Enter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 instances this time. Okay? What do I mean by instances? Let's say, let's modify this one. Let's turn off first the x-ray. And let's try to modify this. And then, try to move this one. Say 500. We modified it. And we look at the copies. They remained as is. But, if we try to modify this one, similarly, from the midpoint, we cannot select the midpoint because this is a component. Okay, so in order to edit the component, so what we do is select the select tool, double click on our component, so it highlights, okay, the others grayed out, and we could edit now, okay, and we could draw now within the component. So let's select the line tool. Then this time, midpoint appears, so click on that. And again, a constraint along that axis or along that direction. Click. Then let's modify this face again. Then extrude it to 500 millimeters. And immediately you'd notice that all instances of this model are modified also. So to exit from that, just double click outside.